Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about the brand new Render Studio that's now available in the Design Files 3D Floor Planner. Now, the great thing about this new Render Studio is that it's going to allow you to take multiple rendered images for any of your floor plans. So you're no longer going to be limited to just doing one rendered uh, image per floor plan. From here on out, you can just rotate it around and take as many rendered images as you like so that you can show the space to your client from every angle. So let's go ahead, we'll use this design as an example. We're gonna pop into the Render Studio and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So we'll click the button for the Render Studio. This is what it's going to look like when you enter into it. So over here on your left-hand side of the screen, you're gonna see the different settings that you have available to adjust the field of view for your rendered image. You can adjust the height of the camera. You can adjust the light intensity right here. So if you wanna darken it out a little bit, you can do that or you can brighten it up. And you also have, let me just bring this up a little bit, the ability to adjust the sun position. So if you rotate this sun around, you're gonna see how that adjusts the shadows within the space. So you can just put it into the position that you like. In this case, I'm gonna leave it on the north side. And you also have the ability to just hold down the left button on your mouse to just move your render around. So you can rotate it like that. And if you hold down the right button on your mouse, it'll allow you to shift it up and down and side to side. So what you wanna do is just go ahead and get your uh, render into the position that you want. One other key thing that I'm gonna to bring to your attention here, uh, keep your eye on this section of the screen right here on the left-hand side, because if I adjust the angle, you're gonna see red and green lines that are on the left side of the uh, screenshot right here. Now, if you want to uh, basically set it up so that your render is at a 90 degree angle, so your verticals are nice and vertical, these two lines are gonna come together and they're gonna turn into teal, and that's gonna let you know that you've got your lines uh, 90 degrees and vertical. So it just kinda helps you line everything up. So I'm just gonna rotate this around. We're gonna snap it into place here. And now that I've got this set up, I think I'm gonna take this as my first rendered view. To do that, I'm gonna click the button down here to create a new render. So it's just below the rendered image. Go ahead and uh, click that button. We're gonna let it do its thing and it's gonna load that saved rendered image right over here on the right side. So I can see my first rendered image. Now, if I wanna take another rendered image, let's say that I'm gonna rotate this around and maybe I wanna do a close up of the fireplace to give my client a nice clean view of that. So I can line this up and then I'll go ahead and I'm gonna click the button again to create a new render. So we'll do that. And again, it's gonna load that additional render over here. And you can take as many rendered images as you like. Now the other thing that you can do here is, let's say that I don't actually like this rendered image and I wanna update it. So I could zoom out a little bit, maybe show a little bit more of the space. And instead of creating a new render by clicking this button, I'm actually just gonna click the button, the gray button over here that says update render. If I click that, it's gonna update this rendered image and replace it with this new um, view that I have decided on. Okay. Now the other thing here, I mean, if you do wanna have just a straight up top down, you will see that there is the option to just do a top down for your uh, rendering as well. So I'm just gonna zoom this in and we can see exactly what this is gonna look like. You can of course create a render for that as well. And the other thing that I wanted to bring to your attention is that if you want to be able to just delete any of the rendered images, when you hover over each of these images, you're gonna see a button with three dots click it and you'll see that you can download the rendered image as a JPEG if you do want to do that. You can duplicate it. So if you want to keep this uh, view, but you want to duplicate it and maybe adjust it slightly, you could always do that and save multiple renders. And then you also have the ability to delete your renders. So if there's any that you don't want, in this case, I don't actually want this top down view. I'm going to go ahead and delete the render. Then you can click through. You'll see a little uh, confirmation message and go ahead and delete it. The other thing that you have available to you is that you can actually change up the names for each of your rendered images. So if you don't want it to just be listed as floor plan two, floor plan three, whatever it is, just click directly on the name. You can highlight the text and maybe this is a case where we're gonna call this uh, fireplace view. So you can rename any of the renders and when you're ready, what you can do is you can just choose to go back to the editor. So you don't have to hit a save button or anything like that. You're just gonna take as many renders as you want, 
When you're done and you can see all your renders here, you can just go ahead and click the button here to go back to the editor. And uh, essentially, if you just save this particular floor plan or this uh, 3D rendering that you've created here, the system's gonna save your floor plan image and it's also going to save all of those rendered images that you just created in the Render Studio directly to your project. So now that that's done, I'm gonna click this link to go back to the app. That's gonna take me back to my project. And if I click into designs here, I'll see the floor plan and these are the rendered images that I just created. Now, if you also just want quick and easy access to jump back in to adjust any of your rendered images, this uh, button right here, you're also gonna find that there is a quick link to go straight into the Render Studio. So that'll pop you straight into the Render Studio where you can make any adjustments to any of the rendered images and create more for your project. And that's about it. So definitely jump into your Design Files account, give this new feature a try. It's really going to allow you to just share all of your designs from a variety of different angles with your client so they can really get a clear sense of the overall space. And of course, if you have any questions whatsoever about how to use the Render Studio, reach out to us on the live chat. We're more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.